Now today marks a new beginning in Ryan and George's lives when they will embark upon a journey together that will last a lifetime. And I know it means a great deal to them that you, their family and friends who mean so much to them are here with them at the start of that journey to witness their wedding vows and celebrate their marriage with them. Marriage is the joining together, not just of two people, but also two families. So it is wonderful that we have this specially chosen group of family and friends to support Ryan and Georgia on their wedding day. And through your presence here, you are sharing in their happiness and expressing your love and support for them, not just for this day, but for their whole future together. Marriage is a desire by two people to share themselves and their life's experiences with one another. It requires both closeness and distance. The closeness of a couple growing and learning together. And enough distance for each to allow each person to develop fully as an individual. It demands strength to tackle the tasks and challenges of everyday life together. Patience to accept each other as you are, faults and all. Grace to acknowledge when you're wrong and wisdom to put things right again. And good partners in such a marriage will be loving, respectful and above all, best friends. And it is in this spirit that Ryan and Georgia are now here before us. In each other's company, they found happiness, fulfilment and love. The love you both have for each other is so nice to see and it's you both look so happy today, so it's lovely to see. I can honestly stand here and take the mick out of Ryan all day long, but I could definitely do with a beer now, to be honest with you. <laughs> Although I do want to impart one last wisdom on you, Ryan. So Georgia, could you place your hand on the table, palm down? And Ryan, could you put your hand on top, please? How does that feel, Ryan? I can personally guarantee you that'll be the last time you ever have the upper hand in this relationship. <laughs> on behalf of the bridesmaids, Catherine, Jay, Jamie and Lisa, I would like to thank Ryan and Georgia for asking us to be a part of their special day. And I generally hope I know that you would be very happy together. Please look after me, Georgia, because I know he looks like he can't look after himself. So we'll ask you both to join me in a toast. It's the happy couple, the bride and groom, Ryan and Georgia. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the entrance of the bridal party. Marriage is a lifetime's journey, and today you set out on that journey together. Because once in a lifetime you find someone who touches not only your heart, but also your soul. Once in a lifetime, you discover someone who stands beside you, not over you. Once in a lifetime, you find someone who loves you for who you are, not who you could be. And once in a lifetime, you find someone, as Ryan and Georgia have found each other.
Georgia, I give you this ring. As a sign of our love, trust and marriage. As a sign of our love, trust and marriage. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. Above all others. Above all others. To give you my love, friendship and support. To give you my love, friendship and support. And to respect and cherish you. And to respect and cherish you. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. Ryan, I give you this ring. Ryan, I give you this ring. As a sign of our love, trust and marriage. As a sign of our love, trust and marriage. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. Above all others. Above all others. To give you my love, friendship and support. To give you my love, friendship and support. And to respect and cherish you. And to respect and cherish you. Throughout our lives together. Throughout our lives together. Yeah. You have both made the declarations prescribed by law. You've made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of the witnesses, your family and friends here assembled. It therefore gives me the greatest honour, privilege and pleasure to announce that you are now husband and wife and I'm sure you want to seal your marriage in the traditional way. <laughs> you all for coming today we we appreciate it's a long way for some of you and are grateful so many of you could make it it's overwhelming having everyone we love in the same room at the same time but when i look around i speak for both of us when i say we're really proud and thank you for the part you've played in all of our lives asking georgia to marry me was meant to be one of the most nerve-wracking days of my life i'd spent so so long planning the proposal we had a trip to america coming up and a plan to visit the grand canyon I found a photographer who was going to hide in the background and film the whole thing for us. It was going to be so perfect and so romantic. But in the end, that perfect moment came on October the 1st, 2021. The same day as mum and dad's wedding anniversary. We were on a Disney cruise and I had bought the ring just in case that perfect moment came. We'd been on the ship a little over an hour when that moment did come. The sun was shining, we were on the top deck of the boat and no one was around. We were looking out to sea, admiring a beautiful rainbow, and I thought to myself, how many people can say they got married in front of the rainbow? Uh, engaged. Yeah. Well, it could have been a rainbow today. Doubled up. Um, and then I saw what Georgia was wearing. <laughs> Props and a Donald Duck jumper. <laughs> I looked at the rainbow again. I looked at the crops. I looked at the rainbow again. And there was still no one inside. So I went for it, thinking we could get some nice photos in the evening. I got down on one knee, and instantly a child came running around the corner where they found As they came over and offered to take some photos, I knew Georgia was going to kill me. <laughs> but how can you say no? Um, and what I'd say about that is when, when you know the moment's right, you know the moment's right, and it felt perfect. We've been building up to this day for nine years. The best day of our lives and the first of our happily ever after. Georgia, thank you so much for arranging today. I didn't realise how much you have done until we sat down with Karen. Every time Karen asked a question, I thought, oh yeah, we need to do that. And you turned around and said, yeah, I've done that. <laughs> thank you so much for organising today. 
Everything about it's been perfect for me. You look beautiful and your dress is perfect. Thank you so much and well done for nearly coming within budget. <laughs> I love you and I'm looking forward to the rest of our lives together.